Hi, ArcfieldWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Monday morning, November the 6th. Relatively quiet weather pattern this week across much of the nation. There certainly will be some decent rainfall across the coastal regions of California, Washington, and Oregon. Maybe some accumulating snow up in the northern part of Maine later on in the week. And we'll talk about a sneaky system that might follow a cold funnel passage. It has to be watched for the early to middle part of the upcoming weekend. It'll follow that cold funnel passage at the end of the work week, and it could cause a little bit of difficulty uh, in the mid-Atlantic region or northeast U.S. Uh, again during the upcoming weekend. Here's the uh, total accumulated precipitation forecast map by last night's zero Z run of the GFS. Decent amount of rainfall down across the southern half of Texas, and again from uh, northern half of California up across British Columbia in the southwestern part of Canada. A lot of rainfall in the, in the higher elevation, some snowfall. We'll take a look at the snow map in a moment. All of this precipitation here, uh, most of it anyway, is uh, going to be in the form of snow in those higher elevation uh, regions of the Rocky Mountain states. And again, decent snowfall coming to at least the northern half of Maine later on in the work week. And here's the total snowfall forecast map for the next 10 days that accumulated precipitation was for the next 10 days as well first of all we'll be seeing this more and more commonplace over the next couple of months here snow in the higher elevations of the sierra nevada of course last winter they had historic amounts of snowfall in those uh, eastern california mountains and again decent snowfall for the upper part of new england later on in the work we can notice gfs putting out uh, quite a bit of snowfall right here that's with that sneaky system that we'll kind of talk about over the next few minutes here uh, uh, not necessarily going to end up looking like this but it's something we have to watch over the next few days again there'll be a cold frontal passage later on in the work week across the northeast mid-atlantic then there could be a follow-up system uh, maybe by the early to middle part of the upcoming weekend and look at this up across Canada a lot of snowfall boy you go just north of the border here and you're getting a foot or more throughout almost the entire part of the southern part of Canada again um, this November actually turns out on average to be the snowiest month for uh, much of Canada and Alaska as well well, let's take a look at the 500 millibar height anomaly forecast maps using the zero Z run of the GFS. Again, kind of a quiet weather pattern. You see this flow uh, along these uh, black lines here, right, uh, right here, as we begin the work week here on Monday morning, November the 6th, basically from west to east, or what we call a zonal type of flow. Not uh, very strong highs, not very strong lows. Certainly in the Mid Atlantic region, the Northeast U.S., only a couple of weak frontal system to deal with over the next few days kind of an up and down temperature pattern in that part of the nation but nothing drastic again kind of a zonal flow going from california all the way to the mid-atlantic coastline now let's move forward here and what we'll see here is uh, troughing is starting to really uh, form uh, over the northern part of new england and by the the end of the week there'll be a, a frontal system right here uh, passing through southeastern part of Canada. This is the system that could cause some accumulating snow, certainly up across Maine, maybe other por portions of uh, northern New England as well. Then that front kind of slides across the mid Atlantic region, some colder air pours in, and you'll see a kind of a follow up system here in the upper levels of the atmosphere by Friday night. And that is the, uh, the uh, little bit of concern here. This, Again, could result in a sneaky system following a cold frontal passage. Maybe we're talking about the early to middle part of the upcoming weekend. This is the Saturday morning forecast map. And this is pretty chilly air by this time. Again, on the back side of that frontal system. So something we'll watch out for over the next few days. Now let's take a look at the surface forecast maps. Again, using the Zero Z GFS model run. Pretty decent weather to begin the work week here. Uh, high pressure in control over the northeastern part of, uh, uh, excuse me, southeastern part of Canada. Kind of coolish, but nothing drastic in the northeast. And here we go uh, into the next couple of days. We have one weak system passing through New England. 
uh, by the middle of the week, and that certainly results in a cold shot for New England at midweek. Again, kind of an up and down temperature pattern uh, for the Mid-Atlantic Northeast U.S. Basically kind of coolish today, warmer on Tuesday, then cooler on Wednesday, probably milder on Thursday, and then cooler for Friday and Saturday. Then we go into the latter part, the second half of the week here. We have this next system, and again, this could cause some accumulating snow across uh, interior New England, and certainly Maine looks like they'll get uh, some accumulating snow out of this. We're, uh, <coughs> excuse me, now in the Thursday night, early Friday time frame, and this has a frontal system associated with it, right about this fashion right here. There'll be a frontal system, and here's that second system. That's kind of a sneaky system we'll have to watch that could form along that frontal boundary zone and ride up into some colder air in the Mid-Atlantic region. Now, let's move forward here at this point. Let's kind of clear the, clear the maps here. Move forward here, and that front passes through. And here we are now, Friday morning. We have kind of the second system moving along that frontal boundary zone. And GFS even puts out a little bit of snowfall here. We saw the snow map. Uh, earlier in this video discussion across southwestern part of Pennsylvania and up across upstate PA and uh, New York. This is now Friday midday. So we're talking about Friday, Saturday time frame where we have to watch this potential sneaky kind of a system here running up into some colder air. And here we go into the uh, Friday evening forecast map and then by early part of the upcoming weekend it pushes off the coastline. So Generally a quiet pattern over the next several days across much of the nation, but there'll be some uh, uh, accumulating snow up across New England later on in the work week. And once that frontal system passes through the, the mid-Atlantic region, the northeast U.S., it turns colder for Friday and Saturday. We'll have to watch over the next few days for another system that could form uh, in that Friday, Saturday time frame up across the northeastern part of the nation. We'll monitor that closely over the next few days. That's it for now for ArcfieldWeather.com. This has been meteorologist Paul Dorian.